Good morning, this is Jason here, and today is going to be a hopefully short tutorial, um, and possibly an interrupted tutorial on a on how to disassemble and reassemble an Eshin 5x5. Uh, I don't know why, I just really feel like making this, so I'm going to make one. Okay, so, uh, what you're going to need is a 5x5. Uh, it can be assembled or disassembled. It doesn't matter, because I'm going to tell you how to disassemble it anyway. And you're probably going to want a plastic bag in case you decide to take a break. I will probably be using this plastic bag as I uh, might need to take a homework break. Uh, in fact, I probably will. And that's all you're going to need for this. Now, in order to reassemble the 5x5, you're going to need to build a stand. So, this is going to bring on a few more materials that you're probably going to be rather surprised by. Or, well, at least two of them. In order to build the stand, you are going to need um, a CD, an unwanted CD at that, because you're going to be tearing this thing up a little bit. Uh, this was an unsuccessful burn, so it's basically rendered useless. If I put this in a DVD drive, it would not read it. Um, actually, you know, I think this one actually works. I'm going to get a different CD then. But you're going to need a CD, and you're going to need to get a cup or something, preferably tape, actually, like duct tape. I'm just going to be using this cup, though. It works just fine. And there's going to be a slight problem. The way the core is designed is going to, if you just put the core right into this hole, first of all, the center pieces don't fit through this hole, and second of all, the core is going to be quite wobbly. So you're going to need to do a little bit of modifying to this hole here. Sorry about that squeak, by the way. That was kind of loud. Yeah, give me the... Anyway, you're going to want either a pair of scissors. Now, this obviously is not the kind of scissors you're going to want, but you're going to just want regular scissors that you use for regular paper cutting. Um, but that's close enough representation. And you're going to need, either way, a piece of something to um, collect the dust. Uh, if you do not... Um, but I would definitely recommend that you'd use um, a Dremel tool with a the smallest sanding bit, which is right there. We'll be getting that in a minute. And if you're going to be using a Dremel, eye protection. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to go ahead and put all this stuff aside, and I will probably need to get a different CD, because um, I think this one's actually good. <laughs> uh, I'm really not sure. I think this is like my first ever successful burn, so... I'm going to have to test it, but I'm not going to use it because I don't feel like testing it. So yeah. Anyway, what you want to do to disassemble your Eshin 5x5, um, it is, you don't need a screwdriver. You All you need to do really is just turn either the top layer or the top two layers, whatever you want. I'll just do the top layer. The uh, You want to turn it 45 degrees, and you're just going to put your finger underneath the very middle edge piece and pop it out. And if you do choose to do this, you're going to want to put your finger underneath this piece and pop it out. Just like that. Sweet. And then, you can go ahead Wah. thought it was going to like explode or something right when I did that. Let's go ahead, disassemble. You know the sad thing is, I actually reassembled this thing um, few weeks ago, and then I brought this thing to school the next day, and a kid was scrambling it way too vigorously and exploded it, and I finally rebuilt it yesterday, and I'm taking it apart again today. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Make sure no pieces get away. As you can clearly see, there are a lot of pieces. Now back to what I was saying about the CD problem. As you can clearly see, this does not fit through there. So... I'm actually going to go and get a re uh, really quickly go and run and get a new CD, and I'll be back. So, what we're going to do is, again, still will not fit, but this one here was already modded, or already dealt with, and as you can see, I did it with the scissors, so there's a bunch of little scratches and everything, and the reason why I'm actually not using this one is because it's cracked, uh, and I don't really trust it anymore. I'm going to throw it away after I'm done showing you what you're supposed to do. But what you want to do is you see this shiny part. You see that where it's, you see where the clear ends and it starts getting shiny. Essentially, where the 
reflection of the camera starts. You want to get rid of all of this clear plastic up to the shiny part. Um, that way it will fit. Because watch this. It'll fit. And it's stable. It wobbles a little bit, but it doesn't wobble enough to where it will not explode on you while you're building it. So, you just want to get it down to there. And if you must, get it a little more. So, I'm going to throw this one away. And also, as you saw, it had a lot of little bumps and all over it. So, I'm going to go ahead and scooch these aside. So, if you're using... Whoops. This cup is going to be the base of the stand, by the way. This CD is going to sit on it like that. So that way it actually functions. Okay, so. Uh, if you're going to be using scissors, what you're going to want to do is just put the scissors in between like this. Open them so that they are just a little wider than the hole. And then you're just going to kind of turn it. And if you're using regular scissors, it'll be much easier and you'll immediately start seeing progress. However that causes two things. One, the way I did it was like this. I gripped it like this and just turned and turned and turned. And it kept feeling like sometimes the CD would warp a little bit and it's just like, ah! I thought it was going to snap the CD right in half right there in my hands. Uh, that has actually never happened to me the two or three times I've done that method. So, um, but I don't want it to happen to me now. Plus, I don't actually have any of those scissors with me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put this thing on. And we're going to do it the quick way. First, what you're going to want to do if you're using a Dremel is you're going to want to put your eye protection on, as I've already done. If you don't believe me, I will prove it to you. Make sure you wear eye protection. Just seriously, do it. If you don't do it, you will die. Well, your eyes will be very mad at you. Um, your eyes will be very, very mad at you. What you're going to want to do, sorry, is you're going to want to take this piece here. This little bit here is the um, smallest sanding bit. And you're going to remove the large one and replace it. And you're going to take the small one and you're going to put it on. Now, as far as any touching up goes, not really necessary. If you absolutely must, though, you can probably polish it up a little bit with this. Uh, this is a grinding stone. I don't see it being that necessary, though, but, um, yeah. So, essentially, all you're going to do is as I said, you're going to go up to the chrome, and it's okay if you go a little past it, not the chrome, the shiny part. It's okay if you go a little bit past the shiny part, uh, it will not kill you, you will not die, or every, it'll still work, but um, just try and go right up to it. So, let's do this slowly to for perfection. Actually, there. Dang, that hurts. Uh, like, literally, as I'm doing this, little pieces of plastic dust are hitting my arm, and it feels like I'm in a sandstorm, man. Anyway, as you can see, there's plastic dust already beginning to form everywhere, including on my arm. It really hurts. Ow. So, obviously, you're going to want to wear eye protection, because if one of those things gets in your eye, man, you are going to be in serious pain. Okay, but as you can see... At this point, we should be able to get this thing in. There. But, watch this. It wobbles around a lot, which is definitely bad. So, we want to stop that wobbling. So, therefore, we are going to do it all the way down to the chrome. Uh, or, I keep saying chrome, but the plastic. And I'm going to try a slightly different grip. And, uh... Actually, you're just going to have to deal with the plastic shards hitting your arm. It won't kill you, I don't think. At this point, you're going to want to get rid of some of the excess dust on the disc. And 
peel this melted stuff away. That was fun. Actually, that was really fun. And most definitely, this is a lot cleaner than with the scissors. However, if you don't have a Dremel, excuse me, most likely you will have scissors, so you can just do that instead. Or, yeah, whatever. But just know that it'll be a little bit more risky as you might break the thing. Uh, you might accidentally snap it in half. I'm going to go ahead and just touch it up a little bit. A little rounder. I guess that works. And so after you get rid of all of the plastic dust, um, just kind of wave it, I guess, or something. Maybe it looks... Whoops. 